Hello out there, welcome to this tutorial again on sequences and series. In this video, we'll be looking at arithmetic series. The sum of the terms of an arithmetic progression is called arithmetic series. So we have a A, B, C, where A, B, and C above are examples of arithmetic series. If you look at this, they are arithmetic progression. They are arithmetic progression because the difference, common difference here is plus 2. And here is negative 5. Here is 1.5. So these are arithmetic series. The general formula for finding the sum of any AP are Sn equal to n over 2 into a plus l is still equal to n over 2 into 2a plus n minus 1d, where n is the number of the term, a is the first term, l is the last term, and d is the common difference. So, depending on the nature of the question, it is either you use the first one n over 2 into a plus l where you are given the last term and the first term and you know the number of terms in the series or sequence. The same thing here, you know the first term, you know the number of terms and you know the common difference. Then you use this. So we go ahead to solve some examples. So we have example one, evaluate each of the following arithmetic series. So these are the series we encounter just now. For A, we have two plus four plus six plus eight plus 10 plus 12, as far as 30 terms. B, we have negative five plus negative 10 plus negative 15 plus negative 20 up to the last term which is negative 120. For C, we have 1 plus 2.5 plus 4 plus 5.5 plus 7 as far as 17 terms. So we start from A, and uh, there we list out the first term, which is 2. The common difference is 4 minus 2 is 2, 6 minus 2 is 2. So the common difference is 2 and uh, our n is 30. From our formula Sn equal to n over 2 plus 2a plus n minus 1d, since we know the first term, we know the common difference and we know the number of terms. So our S30 now, the sum of the first 30 terms is going to be 30 over 2 into 2 times 2, since a is 2 plus 30 minus 1, which is 29, then multiply by D. Let's multiply by 2. So that simplifying this, this is 15 into 4 plus 58. So 4 plus 58 is 62. So 15 times 62. And 15 times 62 gives 900 and 30, which gives the sum of the first 30 terms in the arithmetic progression or series represented in example 1a. We can equally ask you to find the sum of the first 30 even numbers, since these 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12 are even numbers. So we go to be part of the problem. For B, we have uh, the first term to be negative 5, the common difference to be negative 5, since negative 10 minus negative 5 gives negative 10, and here the last term is negative 120. We don't know the number of 10. It is not possible for us to say um, a plus this. No, because we don't know n. So we use our formula in the previous video to find the number of terms. Since we know the last term, we know A, we know D, we can use this formula to find the number of terms. 
so that we will now have negative 120 equal to a which is negative 5 plus n minus 1 then times negative 5. Um, what I do is I bring this to this side it becomes negative 120 plus 5 so that we now have it as negative 115 equal to n minus 1 into negative 5 dividing both sides by negative 5 this negative will go with this we'll be left with n minus 1 equal to 23 since 115 divided by 5 gives 23 so that n is equal to 23 plus 1 which gives 24 so from here we have gotten the number of terms we can use the formula sn equal to n over 2 into a plus l so we know n we know a we know the last term so s24 now will be 24 divided by 2 into negative 5 plus negative 120 so simplifying this this will give us 12 into negative 125 negative 5 plus negative 120 gives negative 125 so multiplying this out we have negative 1500 so we go to example 1c for 1c we have our a to be equal to 1 um, 2.5 minus 1 is 1.5 4 minus 2.5 is 1.5 so the common difference is 1.5 and uh, here we have our n to be 17 so that uh, from our formula s n is n over 2 into 2 a plus n minus 1 d we have our a we have our d and we have our n so we have s 17 equal to 17 over 2 into 2 times 1 plus n minus 1 17 minus 1 is 16 so we have it 16 times 1.5 the 17 divided by 2 here will not give us whole number let's keep it 17 over 2 into 2 plus 16 times 1.5 is 24 24 plus 2 gives 26 so 17 over 2 times 26 so we have it as 221 which is the result of summing up the series represented in example 1c so we are done with example 1 so we go to example 2 for example 2 the first and last terms of an arithmetic progression are respectively 3 and negative 53 if the sum of its series is negative 375 find the number of terms and the common difference of the ap um what are we giving we are giving the first term to be 3 and the last term that is l to be negative 53 and the sum of the series that is going to be sn is equal to negative 375 find the number of terms find the number we know the last term the first term we don't know the common difference we don't know the common difference so we have to find the common difference also so we use the formula sn equal to n over 2 into a plus l since we know the sum that's sn we know we don't know the number of term we know the first term and the last term yeah that is the appropriate formula so that from here now since sn is negative 375 so we have negative 375 is equal to n over 2 we don't know n into 3 plus negative 53 i can easily multiply both sides by 2 so negative 375 by 2 gives 
negative 750 then the 2 is gone here and i have n into negative 50 since 3 plus negative 53 gives negative 50 dividing both sides by negative 50 i have n equal to 15 so i have gotten the number of terms here now so to find the common difference uh, i can use the other formula to find the common difference but let me use the last term to find the common difference for easy manipulation so our last term is negative 53 our first term is 3 and the number of terms the number of terms there is 15 so i have 14 then times d which is what we are looking for um, bringing this to this side it becomes negative 53 minus 3 that will give us negative 56 equal to 14 d so dividing both sides by 14 i have d to be equal to negative 4 and that is the common difference so we have done justice to this problem we found the number of terms and the common difference of the ap represented in example 2 so we go to example 3 for example 3 an arithmetic progression has 25 terms and its common difference is 7 if the sum of its series is 2000 find the first and the last term so we are given the number of terms to be 25 and d is 7 and this sn that is s25 since the sum of its series is 2000 so it's s25 equal to 2000 we are looking for the first term and the last term so the formula we are using here is sn equal to n over 2 into 2a plus n minus 1 times d um, because here we know the number of terms we don't know a we know sn that is s25 and our n is 25 we have d so we'll be able to find our a so we have 2000 equal to 25 over 2 into 2a we don't know a plus 24 times 7 since n is equal to 25 so 25 minus 1 gives 24 times 7 which is d um, multiplying both sides by 2 we have 4000 equal to 25 into 2a plus 168 that's 24 times 7 dividing both sides now by 25 so we have uh, 160 equal to 2a plus 168 so from here 2a if i bring this to this side it becomes 160 minus 168 that will give us negative 8 where a is negative 4 we are done calculating the first term so we calculate the last term you see remember our formula for last term l equal to a plus n minus 1 times d so that our last term here will now be a which is negative 4 plus n minus 1 our n is 25 minus 1 24 times 7 and uh, this is negative 4 plus 168 and that gives 164 which represents the last term of the arithmetic progression represented in example 3 so we go to example 4 example 4 find the sum of all the multiples of 6 between 1 and 100 we can form a series uh, that's going to give us uh, the first term is going to be 6 plus the next multiple is 12 plus 18 plus 24 then up to the multiple of 6 before 100 how do we get that um, if you say 100 divided by 6 take the whole number part forget about the decimal fractional part then multiply it by 6 
whatever it gives you will give you the multiple of six before 100 and that gives us 96 so from here we have the first term we have the last term we have the common difference but we don't have the number of terms so let's go we say we use l equal to a plus n minus 1d to get the number of term so that's going to give us a equal to 6d6 six six and l is 96 so our l which is 96 equal to 6 plus n minus 1 we don't know n then multiply by 6 so we bring this to this side it becomes 90 equal to n minus 1 into 6 dividing both sides by 6 n minus 1 is equal to 15 and n is equal to 16 so there are 16 terms in this series so we go ahead to find the sum of all the multiples of 6 between 1 and 100 and the formula we are going to use is sn equal to n over 2 into a plus l so we know our number of terms here we know our first term we know our last term so that s16 will be 16 divided by 2 into 6 plus 96 this is giving us 8 times 102 and that gives 816 which represent the sum of all the multiples of 6 between 1 and 100 and that's the end of solution to example 4 remember it could be the sum of all the multiples of 5 it could be all the multiples of 8 it could be all the multiples of 7 and so on you follow these same procedures that is the end of this tutorial i hope you enjoyed it check the description section of this video on our youtube channel to get the link to the playlist containing all the videos on sequences and series please also remember to like and share this video to your loved ones until we come your way again goodbye